How do you swing the golf club on the inside during the backswing, that into out path that everybody seems to crave? Here at How Did I Do Academy, we're gonna try and show you right now. My name is Sophie Walker. We're here today at Pressbury Golf Club. Let's try and swing the club on the inside. First, let's get into the data. It's very hard to swing the club straight, a zero path, straight down the target line. And people say to me, I just wanna hit the golf ball straight. That path is incredibly hard to get. So you're either one way or another. But I'm not saying an out to win swing path is bad. Brooks Kepka, John Rahm, many of the top male professional golfers swing it from out to in. And they're pretty good, aren't they? But the in to out path is more there for people that swing too aggressively out to in. So if you are too much out to in and you want to try and neutralize that path, this video is for you. Or if you want to try and understand what a draw is, this video is for you. The first thing to look at is setup. Now, a lot of people may say, well, when I try and do that inside path, I aim more to the right, I close my stance to the target. Okay, yeah, fine. But make sure you're thinking about that with your shoulders as well. So if I stand square to this alignment stick and then drop the right shot back, don't forget that shoulder. I see so many people's back shoulder get out in front of them. So actually, the shoulders are pointing square or even left. That just says, come on, let's get over the top on the way down. What I want you to feel is that the glove hand is quite dominant and the non-glove hand kind of relaxes. That shoulder retracts a touch. It almost sits underneath. We can see there how those shoulders are a lot more where the feet are rather than over here. So just bring that long glove hand back a touch, make that right arm feel a little bit more submissive, if not behind you in setup. Next up, the backswing. Now many people that come to golf lessons with me that say I want to swing the club on the inside, do so in the backswing, and that causes them to swing on the outside in the downswing. They get too deep and behind them. They get into that space. So once they get to the top, if I said there, right, swing it on the inside, drop that club down, all those thoughts, I'm gonna hit myself. Your body's not gonna let you hurt itself. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna sling out in front. That club needs some space. It wants to swing quick. It needs some space to swing into. So if you are too much on the inside on the way back, you've got a tendency to go on the outside on the way down. So what it needs to be is more neutral. And then from a neutral spot, we can start shifting the path behind us on the way down. So don't get too much on the inside on your backswing, get more neutral. Now moving into the downswing, take the club to the top, and from this motion here, you want to feel that the arms fall in a vertical line. They are not moving horizontally this way. You want to feel that they drop vertically and keep that chest pointing to this camera right now. Imagine there's a camera behind you. So you're going to keep the chest closed while the arms fall. From that point, the arms and the club head is behind the body. The left arm, if you're right-handed, is more across the chest. If the arms come out horizontally, that arm leaves its chest, the club gets out in front. So we wanna feel from here, the drop. You could draw a line down that grip, down to the ground. So we're gonna feel like we drop it into our back foot, right foot, if you're a right-hander, while keeping that chest closed. And from there, you're on the inside to work on that follow-through. Moving from that club behind you, we are then gonna look at the inside of the golf ball, looking at this nearest part to us, the inside of the ball. The club is behind us nicely when we rotate through we want to feel like we're coming at it from the inside of this golf ball and pushing out to the right-hand side of the target if you're a right-hander. So 
So the inside of the ball pushing out to the right. We're creating that in to out path. I often find that it's easier to change a path when thinking about what your club is doing after the golf ball, because everything gets a bit quick when you're in your downswing. It all goes so fast that if I'm thinking in all of my swing, I need my golf club to move to the right of this alignment stick. In fact, there's a dandelion a couple of feet in front of me. I want that feeling of my club moving to the right of that dandelion after I've hit. That swing direction to the right, it helps the club get in here. Because if I want to go right of that dandelion, there's no way I can get the club right of that dandelion and that, that alignment stick from there. It wants to come in this way. So the only way I can do that is by getting in there and then pushing out to the right hand side. A drill to help you work out that into out path is this one right here. I put an alignment stick down in a cross. So there's no golf ball and I'm going to set up to this cross. I like to think of it like a compass. So I'm going to take the club back east, which is straight across that up there. So remember, we're not going too on the inside on the way back. And then on the way down, I want to try and swing it from southeast to northwest. So I want to be in this play box here and then firing it up through northwest. So along this line, down into this play box here and then through into the northwest. So forever just rehearsing that drop through, drop through. Now it's not a golf ball there. You're going to remove these alignment sticks and then you're going to put the golf ball down with those feelings. Okay, can we transfer the feelings, that almost trace that we had and put that into your golf swing? The next drill is more of an anti over the top drill, more of an anti out to in drill, which will promote into out. So if you're on grass, grab yourself an alignment stick and put it in the ground at this angle. If you're on a driving range, use that stick, put it more horizontal to the ground and put it in a driving range golf ball bucket behind you, somewhere there. The idea of this is to feel that the club swings underneath this alignment stick. So if we were swinging it over the top, we would hit the alignment stick. It'll get impact shallower and more on the inside. So that feeling, you take it to the top and then miss the stick, not over the top and hit the stick. I use this technique with a person that I teach in America. Couldn't see them in person, did it online. They were aggressively over the top very much like this, to the point it was hurting their wrists. They were getting wrist injuries. We worked on this and it was a complete game changer. Her wrists are so much better. Her swing path, it's amazing what it's done for the swing path. So I, this is a huge advocate of trying to get that club less steep, less out to in, more on the inside and more shallow. That was a step-by-step -step guide on how to swing the golf club from in to out and two drills to help you do that. This video should help you hit straighter shots and better contact. And that's what we all want really, isn't it? It's consistency. So I hope this video has helped you.